Somebody asked me the other day if I've ever been in a relationship with somebody who was borderline or narcissistic. And let me tell you, I have. And it's like being addicted to a drug. Because when you find yourself in a relationship with somebody who is truly borderline or narcissistic, it's easy to get caught up in the chaos, in the drama, and in the intensity. And here's what I've learned, not only from my own experience, but also helping thousands of people who have been in this exact type of dynamic. It's never about the other person. It's always about our own worth and value. It's always about trusting our own intuition. Because I've been there, draw, been drawn into relationships where the highs were just sky high, but the lows were devastating, like a drug addiction, something I couldn't pull away from no matter how much it hurt. And the truth is, I was addicted, not to the person, but to the trauma bond that was formed between us. Because when you don't value yourself, when you don't trust that inner voice that tells you that something is off, then you're gonna be likely to stay inside a toxic cycle and you actually start to believe that that roller coaster, that addiction, the highs and lows, those emotions, that it's normal. And the love bombing and the devaluation is just part of the deal, but it's not. It's a pattern. It's a pattern that keeps us hooked, feeling like we're constantly chasing a carrot on the end of the stick only to come to find out there is no carrot. So the real issue is really, it, it's our self-worth. When you don't really believe that you deserve better, you accept the unacceptable. You ignore the red flags. You make excuses. You stay even when you know deep down that it's destroying your life. That's the power of a trauma bomb. It's that intense. It's that consuming. And it feels like you, you can't live without it. But it's also toxic. And it's a sign that we're not valuing ourselves the way we should. That we're ignoring our intuition. And we're ignoring our intuition in favor of holding on to something that's ultimately hurting us. So breaking free from this cycle really starts by recognizing your worth and trusting yourself. It's about stepping back and really asking yourself, right? Why am I even drawn to this? What am I really looking for? What am I searching for here? And more importantly, what do I deserve? We don't have to stay stuck in toxic patterns. The real strength lies in valuing ourselves enough to break these bonds and seek out the kind of love that's healthy, supportive, and real.